Hi, welcome to the Old Geezers Show on Tuesday, the 31st of January, 2023. My name is Chris Gosling, and I started developing the show back in uh, kind of the end of November, beginning of December, 2022. Although the channel that it runs on the Old Geezers Diary has been in existence for a number of years. The Old Geezers Show actually started broadcasting properly at the start of January. And so I'll base my figures on the first 28 days of shows. We've done about 20 live shows and about 20 pre-recorded items. Most of the pre-recorded items are essentially features, so their interest and stuff that I find interesting that I'm showing on the channel. But the other 20 live shows are mostly news and information designed for older people. One of the problems that we have in the modern world is that there is a shortage of proper news aimed at specific people. If you look at national newspapers, national TV, regional TV, local papers, there is less news than there used to be. In other words, news story coverage has reduced. Journalists, there aren't as many of them. So there aren't as many stories coming into publications and into media in general. This little channel is an idea to try and restore the balance, especially for older people like me. I'm 77, for goodness sake, and I find the news aimed at older people, it's very limited. And you tend to get quite a lot of news that comes from sources you don't quite trust. So for instance, I get quite a lot of um, survey results that are generated by people like insurance companies and so on, who actually have a bit of an ax to grind. So you have to take those survey results with a bit, well, I guess you'd say a pinch of salt, uh, because the surveys are kind of aimed at reinforcing their story. It happens all the time. But uh, having said that, I'm really pleased with our first month of proper service, January 2023. I've based the numbers that I'm now going to give you on the results that have come in on the first 28 days of the month, so you can see kind of how things are going. The Old Geezer Show runs on a total of five, unbelievably five channels, and I'll give you what they are. The main channels are our Facebook page, The Old Geezer's Diary, a YouTube page, the Old Geezer's Diary, another home um, page on YouTube, which is Homemade TV. Now, those are our three main channels. And the reason for those being our main channels is because they have some history and they already have some followers and some subscribers. So we know we've got a decent number of people who are going to watch things and say, so maybe they'll say that no, I didn't like that or I did like that and so on. Um, but in reality, it gives us a kind of foundation level of interest. Both the old geezer's um, diary on YouTube and homemade TV on YouTube both have at this point about 400, 450 subscribers or followers on YouTube. And the old geezer's diary on Facebook has, I think, about 400. There are an additional two channels which is uh, YouTube, Old Geezer Show, and Facebook, Old Geezer Show. And those two are really just to kind of protect the name a little bit and give us a bit of name protection back into time as we go along. Because on both the channels, if you have a, a good show name, people will try and copy it, follow it, do whatever they want to do. Um, so I thought the best thing to do was to actually give the show a name and give those pages uh, an option as uh, coming up on search engines. Now to the nitty gritty of what views we've had. One of the things people have said to me is, well, you don't get that many views because they've watched a specific channel. But because the views are spread over the three channels, mainly, and one extra a little bit, uh, because the shows are spread over in that way, it's actually a bit difficult to see what my shows are getting. And I think that's a problem for people who are considering using the shows. What we're always looking at is three shows results. So let me give those to you for January 2023. Old Geezer's Diary Facebook channel, 
the video views on that were 7,381. Now that's just raw Facebook figures. 7,381, which I think is pretty good. And we added in January 30 subscribers or 30 followers. Then looking at YouTube on the Old Geezer's Diary YouTube channel, we got 4,702 views and added 20 subscribers. Again, I think that's, that's pretty nice. And uh, then finally on Homemade TV on YouTube, we got 3,480 views and 13 new subscribers, which again, I thought was pretty decent. So in total over that month, we recorded a raw figure of 16,053, <laughs> might as well have the 53, views. That's raw figures, not divided by the time watched, some short views, some longer views. There you go. But we also gained 83 subscribers or followers in that month, which I think is pretty decent. I'm impressed, really. So there we go. So we got 16,053 total views. Now, one of the problems with that 16,000 figure is that the YouTube channels include some residual views from previous content because they both have a backlog of content which is still being viewed. Um, so I knocked a couple of thousand off those just to allow for it. So we're down to about, I guess we're down to about 13 or 14,000 views on specific old geezer's show content, which actually I have to tell you, I'm pretty happy with. I think if we can keep making content at that pace in February, then we're going to get a lot more viewers and hopefully we'll get more subscribers and more followers on those two channels. Where we'll go with the numbers, I don't know, but it's an interesting one. 14,000 views across those three main channels is pretty decent. And I think it's beginning to show signs of being an interesting channel. We're getting content now sent to us from two or three sources, which is interesting. And we're now starting to look for a small scale sponsor or two. The reason for this is that we have some, some serious costs. Uh, I recently did a piece in London, so I incurred some expenses. I don't draw any money and I don't want to draw any money, but I do want to see my expenses covered. And that was a day out in London, just on travel costs, 60 pounds. And I think I'm going to need to do some travel once or twice a week. So I'm looking to find a sponsor or some advertisers who can provide around a hundred pounds a week to cover my running costs. Who knows where that one will go. If you're interested, just let me know. Uh, <laughs> but generally speaking, I'm pretty happy with the way things are going. So that gives you the figures that we're getting on our channels in January. That's only January. And let's say, let's call it 14,000 video views in total. So I'm really pleased with that. Get in touch with me with your stories. Get in touch with me if you have questions or queries. Get in touch with me anytime and any way you like. I'd love to hear from you. My name's Chris. This is The Old Geezer Show, and I'll see you soon.